So working in the oil field has afforded me the type of lifestyle I want in a career that I didn't have to incur a whole pile of student loan debt prior to getting into by going to school first. But it's not as simple as that and we'll dig into it a little bit more. Sup peeps, I'm Steve and I've been getting a pile of questions like this one here. So hopefully we can answer some of those for those looking at getting involved in the oil field industry. So first off, this is a little bit of a glimpse of what you're gonna be getting involved with. Working outdoors, working with equipment. It's not all the same because there's different facets to the industry, but I mean, to get in for an entry level thing, you're pretty much looking at something like this. So for me, the money was absolutely worth it. I was able to start a job at 19 years old where I was making over $100,000 a year if I put the work in. Whereas, you know, to make that kind of earning potential, I would have had to go to school for two, three, four years, incurring a whole pile of debt and have to pay off those student loans. Instead, I bought a home at 23 years old in a town that was booming at the time and housing prices were skyrocketing. So there's a few factors you got to think about when you're considering cross-country move. Uh, how's it going to affect your home life? Do you have family? Are you coming out single? That all plays into it. Depending on which facet of the industry you get into, sometimes your working potential is down near limitless. Like I said, you can go to work for upwards of 21 days at a time, putting in 12 hour days, and the earning potential could be quite significant. Now, conversely, on the dark side of that too, is you're earning a whole pile more money, depending on what you were doing before. So the thing is that money can be a shock and you gotta control yourself because there's been people that have gotten themselves into trouble by thinking, oh, hey, I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go that, I'm gonna go buy this, I'm gonna finance that. They over -lever leverage themselves. And there's also the ones that get into partying and blow their money that way too. But if you keep your nose clean and you manage your money properly, I think there is quite significant earning potential and you can do well with it. So I do wanna throw one more point out there and that's the oil industry has been in turmoil pretty much since about 2015. We've seen low lows, low oil prices, slow down of projects, whereas in 2012, 2013, the work was endless. You could <laughs> damn near work as much as you wanted to because they couldn't find the people because everything was, you know, oil was over hundred bucks a barrel. So my caution is, is that with commodity prices increasing, there is more work, but I don't know how long this cycle is gonna last. I am guessing that this is gonna be a shorter cycle and we're gonna see another dip in mid 2023, just from what I'm seeing. Now, that being said, I would rather see a dip than an outright crash like we did in 2015, 2016. So I don't know what the wages are like in your area, but here's an example from the CAODC, the Canadian Association of Oil Well Drilling Contractors as to what their wages are on a drilling rig. So here we have a lease hand, which is your entry level position at 32 bucks an hour. Now you'll get some entry level jobs that'll be lower than that. And some that might be about the same or a little bit higher, even depending what you're going into and how remote you are. But using that example, 32 bucks an hour, 12 hour shifts multiplied by 21 days in a month, you're doing pretty good. So hopefully that information was helpful. And if you have any more questions, don't be afraid to ask. And look forward to seeing you out here.